All right, so we are back in the bar. Uh, I am trying, I'm just gonna do this really quickly. In fact, there's no setup I'm clearly holding my phone, but I felt like I needed to capture this. I just did one the other day, uh, the new 2022 uh, George T. Stack, which I don't think I really like alluded to in my video, but it, the 2022 GTS is stupid good. It is stupid good. It just keeps getting better the longer it opens up. The finish is just as long, if not longer, than most of the LaRue's that I've had. But I keep hearing multiple things about uh, the 2022 Thomas Handy. Now, I have a 2020 Thomas Handy opened up right now. Uh, I think it's good. I'm, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm a huge rye guy, but I like rye. Um, I'll tell you what I don't like. I don't like very medicinal uh, cherry bomb, cherry cough syrup flavored stuff. Uh, Wild Turkey 18-year bottle and bond. That happened to me. I loved it out of the gate. And then once it opened up, like after a week, it just tasted like I was drinking cherry cough syrup. And I, I cannot do that. It's just me. It's my palate. That's just how it is. The 2020 Thomas Handy, uh, it's really good. It's really complex. But at the very last note that I get, it was kind of a hint of that cherry cough syrup. So, I, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not in love with it. It's good. It's good. It just, it's enough to make me thrown off a little bit. So, 2022, finally got my hands on one. Real excited. There it is right here. Again, I'm holding my phone, so this kind of sucks. There it is. I've already poured it. I let this sit actually for about, I don't know, like 30 minutes. I, if you open up the neck pour, pour it out. Like, so let it sit there for 30 minutes. It's, it actually, it like, uh, excuse me, Stag Jr. is very, very good if you'll let it sit out for about 30 minutes. All right, so here we go. Trying this out on video. People are texting me right now. They don't know I'm doing a video. All right, the nose. I need to start recording these with my GoPro so it's not so jumpy. It's a good nose. I definitely get the rye. I get fruit notes, uh, spice. I get uh, a little bit of oak. It's not overpowering with the uh, the uh, ethanol. Got a good nose. I like it. I like the nose a lot. All right, going in for it. Here we are, 2022 Tom Sandy. Okay, I don't, um, at least for right now, whoo, it packs a punch. It's good. It's 130 proof, 130.9. Let's go 131. So you can see my eyes water up. This is my first pour of the day. So this this hit me a little harder. I'm sure it'll get a little uh, better once I start drinking a little more. Um, immediate rye punch right out of the gate. I mean, as soon as I, I took the drink, uh, I get the rye punch right off the bat. Um, then it's like a sweet note. It's like almost like a red fruit sweet note. And then right back to rye and uh, oak, which is not a bad thing. Um, like if you've had like the 2008, no, excuse me, batch 18 stag, not stag junior anymore, stag. It has that really like leathery kind of taste on the back. I'm not talking about that. It's just, it's like spice, spicy rye, then fruit note, and then spicy rye with oak right at the very end. Let me try it one more time. Let's kind of see what we got here. The, the burn is still lingering, so it's got the Kentucky hug. I wouldn't say the finish is, I mean, nowhere near as long as the uh, George T. Stag from this year, but it's it's good. I see why people are really gravitating to this, especially given the other ones. Rye, a little bit of a sweet note. Yeah, and then oak on the back end. Um it's funny, this this is not quite as sweet as the ones I've had in the past. A lot of rye, but it, it's it's like a complex rye. It's It's got a power punch to it. Uh, second one obviously didn't burn quite as much as the first because I'm actually uh, getting used to it now. Um, it's good, I like it. I Would I gravitate to secondary price for this, especially given the fact that everybody right now <laughs> wants this bottle. It's been hyped up. I've seen somebody ask like, they wanted like a LaRue or George T. Stagg or something for it. I mean, it was going upwards of a thousand plus. I, I don't think it's worth that. That's my opinion. I don't think it's worth that. I think this falls right in line uh, with the other Thomas Handy uh, secondary values. Um, it's good. If you like rye, you'll love it. It's definitely got a spice punch to it. It's going to be interesting to taste this uh, over the next week or so once it really opens up. But uh, thumbs up. I like it. Um, would I go for two or three more of these? Would I go seek them out? Probably not. Glad I have it. Um, 
it's a good time sandy other people probably disagree with me but in terms of saying it, it's, it's a lot better than what i'm saying but um yeah that's my review all right thanks guys